All right, what's up guys? It's your boy MacTube and I'll try to make this quick. Today I wanted to show a new controller, yet another controller video, I know, but it's my thing right now. What am I, what do you want? It's, um, I'm gonna show off a new one I ordered from this company called Colorware. Um, for anyone who knows, I've been showing a lot of videos of controllers lately and this one really caught my eye because um, they, you know, they make, um, aesthetic uh, upgrades so they don't really give you any physical uh, changes or anything it's just they, they colorize it most people get this controller just to get um, just visual enhancements so what I did is I got a black controller um, I didn't really like the controller that Sony put out um, I thought it was too plain so I decided to make a few changes I like the uh, options that colorware has so um, I went with them for, for my black one. Now I have since seen a better <laughs> black control in my opinion from um, Lazamon's but we're not going to talk about them right now. But for now we're going to focus on um, Colorware. Now when you order from Colorware it took me about a month to get here. Okay as far as controllers go but uh, not the best not the worst. Um, it comes in this official PlayStation 5 uh, controller DualSense box so I think what they do is they actually buy a controller and then they color it themselves. Now I already opened this because I couldn't wait. I got this a few days ago. I just hadn't had a chance to make this video. So I already seen what it looks like. Uh, but for those of you who just want the whole experience, it comes in its own DualSense box and, um, and then they just put their design once they design it they just put it in a box so it feels like a new box it also comes with this colorware logo sticker on here so you know it's them not that you wouldn't already but colorware is a pretty interesting company they don't offer the most options there's a couple things that they don't offer like they don't color the option and share button and they don't uh, they don't add grips to the back but other than that their designs are pretty good so I like having a, one of theirs in my collection so this is the controller, we'll take a look at that in a second. Besides that, it just comes with uh, the manual that comes with the controller. Um, no charging cable or anything, but that's alright. Now, like I said, I ordered, uh, I wanted a black controller in my collection and for a, this is the one I got. Now the difference between this one is, instead of being all black monotone, um, as you can see, this um, body of the controller is a little lighter it's a I don't know what to call it I don't know if it's a matte or a dark silver but I just like the contrast of it um, I kind of like that it's black and light black together I also added a glossy um, galactic I think that's what they call it uh, touchpad so if you can see the sparkle in there it's shiny but you can see reflective but you can also notice the um, the sparkle finish to it so it's smooth but it has a nice glossy design it feels good when you have to touch it um, the trim here this part of the uh, controller is also uh, different from the um, stock controller it's a little bit more glossy more smooth uh, button wise this is not the darkest black it's like the second darkest um, I did want it to be black so um, there's that. I could have changed this any color I wanted. They have many other color features. So if you're looking for a different color pattern, they have that covered. They don't allow you to customize the trigger and bumper buttons, R1, L2 buttons up here. And they don't allow you to do anything to the back. That's my one complaint here. Um, they don't offer grips. A lot of other uh, controller companies do, but that's all right. Now, they also color over the icon button here, here, the mute button here, so you don't see that, but all controllers also do that, so I wasn't expecting that. Um, but in terms of the feel, it actually feels better than the regular DualSense. The, the regular DualSense I found is a little too slippery on the handle, um, which is kind of what drew me to buy these new controllers because I wanted an alternative and I just a little crazy with it but this actual this paint or whatever they use on it it feels like professional quality I, I have to give it that they did a really good job it actually feels less slippery on the back now they you can't see those little symbols on the back like the original ones are it's completely smooth but it just feels smooth I was worried that it would be too um, like paintish but it's, it's actually very dry very smooth at the same time so it feels much more sturdy in the hand 
if I can describe it anything so overall I'm very happy with it um, there is an option to put your name on the touchpad but I saw some examples of it and it's very tiny so if I want my name on it I would rather it be a lot larger so I just I just went without it but I do have some other controllers coming that uh, yes I do have more controllers coming that will have my name engraved on it so I'll show you those later but for now I will say I'm overall very happy with it um, the, now the one thing also you can't change is the PS logo so I knew that going in so what I went and did is I looked up I, I've done this for other controllers so like for example I buy stickers this is my original DualSense controller which I added grips to and stuff I added stickers to the PS logo because I felt it looked better but for this one I didn't know if I wanted to put the PS logo or a different color like silver or some other white color to, to make it stand out so what I did is I ordered from this other company called Flaming Toast now you can get these little PS logo stickers from anywhere on Amazon or eBay but I wanted to go with these I wanted to try these guys out because I've seen people leave positive uh, reviews on them so what I did is I looked for um, PS logo that is silver because I knew uh, um, I was my controller was gonna be lightish black so I got one in the mail today so I'm gonna put that on here and show you what it looks like um, just to see the uh, difference I'm gonna show you a stock photo of, I did this before I put a PS logo on here I'm gonna show you the stock difference between that one and the silver and I'll decide which one I'm gonna go with after but I just want to show you that before I end this video so I'll show you the stock video of what it looks like with the P, uh, classic PS logo and then I'll show you how it looks um, with the uh, uh, silver now this doesn't look like the same shade of silver but I still want to see what it's gonna look like on it hopefully um, it'll still look good so here it is uh, after that I'm probably gonna end the video so thanks for watching um, I'll show you how it looks uh, real quick and then I'll be out All right. All right, guys this is what it looks like I put the uh, the um, silver PS logo on there I also I didn't mention this but I also um, flaming tools comes with these share button um, share button uh, stickers here for the share an option button uh, this is for the gray one but I ordered one for the uh, where did I put it I ordered one for black as well I can't find it right now and um, I added them to this one because I thought it looked weird being the same color as the body, gray, or gray. So I added those, and I think it makes it look better. It matches the uh, body here, here, and the buttons. So I'm gonna, I, I like how those turns out. As far as the PS logo comes, um, I like it. It's not bad, but I'm not sure if I love it over the uh, retro sticker. You guys, let me know in the comments what you think. But. Um, Besides that, I'm very satisfied with the controller. It looks great as black. I think it looks much more interesting than the just plain black. So um, overall, I give this a 9 out of 10 for color wear. I'm, I'm satisfied with it. It isn't my favorite controller I've ordered, but it's definitely one I, I, I like. And uh, I'm going to enjoy playing this. Um, I'll be coming up with more controller videos. I have actually two more. And then I'm done. I promise. But, um, and then um, but let me know what you guys think. And... Um, that's it for today. Thanks to Colorware. Uh, appreciate it. And um, happy gaming. See you guys later.